Hey everybody, I'm Not Great, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Symphonia. The let's play that we're playing. That we're, is the one that we're doing right now. Um, when last we left off, we managed to get to the king. Um, nobody trusts us because we're not from this world. And, um, Zelos is a man whore, and I don't like him. And Brisea is cool. So that's where we're at. We are heading over to a bridge right now. That one. That big old bridge right over there. Ah. So the Tetheala Bridge. Let's check it out. Well, I eat a delicious Dorito. Damn it. Words. Whoa, that's a huge bridge. Listen and be amazed, bumpkins. Fuck you. This is the greatest drawbridge in the world. It connects the continents of Altamira and Fuji. Its control system incorporates 3,000 X-spheres. Uh, 3,000 human lives. Hmm? What? What's wrong? What's with those faces? I suppose we'd better tell you. That's a pretty sobering story. Is that really true? Do you think we'd make up something like that? Rosea says nothing. Oh, well, even so, it's not like the dead are going to come back to life at this point. It's always best to look on the bright side of things. Get wrecked, dude. I can't tell if he's a positive thinker or just doesn't care about anything. But since we're on the subject, you and Rosea both have x fears too. Does everyone have x spheres in this world? It didn't sound like it from the way Sheena talked about them. Mm, nope. I got this from those guys who call themselves the Renegades. They distributed quite a few of them to Sheena and the Papal Knights and such. And Prisea? Beats me. Well, little one? Uh, she's so talkative. I bet we're going to have a whole lot of scenes to read in this one. Who are you? Welcome, Chosen One and travelers from Silverant. Here it comes. The mana is growing thin. Please be careful. You call this thin? And Silverant must be a dried up husk. I guess so. Alright, nothing there, nothing there. I'm a goner. Oh, here we go, nicknames. Well then, I'd like to take this opportunity to decide everyone's nicknames. What are you talking about all of a sudden? You can call me Mr. Zelos. Persea will be Little One. Colette is Miss Angel. Lloyd is Hey You, and Genus is Brat. Gee, you must have spent a long time. Don't mention it. And then Rain will be Gorgeous Ultra Cool Beauty. I don't want to be called something like that. Huh? Then, Her Highness. Zelos, can't you come up with something a little more normal? The Professor is the Professor. What else could she be? Hmm? Hmm. Professor. That does have a nice ring to it. The bewitching female teacher. Hey, 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 hey. Fucking kill me. Oh, fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Okay, then. Professor Rain it is. Whatever. God. Damn, I hate him. Oh, it's a cat's. I love the ocean. It's so grand. This must be fate. It was so... It is so great that we meet on this date. Let's play... Uh, um, okay. What shall we play? How about red light, green light? Oh, God. Uh, the way you play is to find the fastest way to get to the person who's it, but... Don't you walk when it gawks, because you'll be sent to the docks. And if you run into others, you'll be in a jumble, or you'll stumble and fumble. The controls look like this. All right. To move forward, press B. To move right, hold down right bumper. To move left, hold down left bumper. Quit, press start. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's more kids, I guess.
<laughs> Suddenly Squid Games. And button mash. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 come on, win. There we go, we got it. Hello, my dear. Oh, level two, shit. Oh no, I got caught, damn it. All these drunk kids walking around. Come on, we can do this. There we go. Come on, we're so close. Oh god, all those other kids are so close too. Oh, you little bastard. All right, we're going to try that again. Thank you. Thank you, good Hmm. That little girl was obviously still moving. What the hell? And I win. Mm -hmm. Hey, you dick. You guys keep zigging and zagging. I'm just gonna head straight for victory. Oh, damn it! Wow, oh, fuck me. Hey, Mitchell Nutson. All right, one more try. Now I can see why all of the memes on the, the Steam page for this game are about red light, green light.
All right. <laughs> All right, we've got a straight path. We're in the lead. All we have to do is not fuck up. Son of a bitch. Haha, <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh shit, there's a third level. Oh, come on. Get fucked. girls are going to get their way before I do. Damn it. And the glasses, kid. Oh, dislike. All right, we're done with that. We'll, we'll dedicate an entire stream to trying to beat Red Light, Green Light later. Ozette and Colette. It's like, Ozette? What about it? I have a feeling I've heard that name before. You sure you weren't thinking of Colette? Huh? Ozette and Colette sound kind of the same, you know? Ah, oh, you didn't have to hit me! Well, at least that was a fun cutscene. So, Mitchell, I've never seen you in chat before. How is it going? And welcome and all that stuff. Happiness charms, okay. Those happiness charms that Persea makes are incredibly popular in Meltokyo now. Wow, that's great! That's our Persea! Wow, really? What kind of charm? A bear. What? It's a carved wooden bear. It has a salmon in its mouth. A bear? A salmon? If you place it at the entrance to your house, it'll make you rich! Yes. All right, bridge. Are we done? Okay, sharp nose spotted Jerboa. The hell? Hey, Persea, do you make anything else besides wooden bears with salmon in their mouths? Brooches. Oh, hey, I can make those too. We're two of a kind. Uh, I can make them too. Sharp nose spotted Jerboa. What? Sharp nose spotted Jerboa brooches. It's a type of mouse that lives only in the area around Ozette. The sharp-nosed spotted Jerboa mouse brooches that Persea makes are super popular among noble women. Maybe we're not two of a kind after all. Frickin' cats ruining my day. Stupid games, stupid expeditions, cost too much money. And we made it. Thank goodness. Let's see, similar. Looking at those two like this, don't they look kind of similar? You think so? They hardly ever smile, you know. A girl's just not the same without a pretty smile. Hit him! Colette can't smile even if she wanted to. So don't say things like that. I'm sorry, she's touchy touchy. All right, we made it to the other side of the bridge. We'll go ahead and save here. And we'll fight the first things that we run into. This is going to be a piece of cake. And it's all the same. Hunting beast. Ow. Ah. 
sounds cute. I mean, I, that's straight up, mouse brooches. That sounds cute. You there. Ow. Oh, he's already dead. No, I wasted it. Are you okay? There we go. That was just warming up. Lair bottle kelp shrimp and seaweed. Uh, I don't want to fight you right now. Uh, where is this? Cyback. Okay. Oh, I wonder how much money we're gonna have to spend on stuff here. Hmm. Rosea says, sorry, I ate a Dorito. I thought I had time. <laughs> there we go. Rosea says, I hate this city. Hurry. Rosette. Well, I'm sorry, Rosea. Wait just a minute, little one. We'll be done in a jiffy. Right, Lloyd? Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright, how much money do we need to spend here? This is a variety of good shop, uh, student supplies. We offer customization services here as well. Uh, customization. Okay, Kotetsu. We need a metal sphere. Uh, let me get my, uh, my notebook out so I can write down our shopping list. Alright, so Kotetsu, we need a metal here. Uh, for that, we're gonna need a brass and a mithril. The Gale Staff, we already have. The Aqua brand. Oh, we can go ahead and just make one now. Oh, cool. Uh, what does this one need? Black silver and a metal sphere. This one just needs brass and white silver. We're not using him right now, so we're. Let's see. Black silver. Metal sphere. We need another one. And pointed hats. We need three of those. So we need two berets. And we don't need any magical cloth. We've got plenty of those. So we'll go ahead and make the pointed hat right now. And we've got our shopping list for later. Well, uh, let's see. Variety shop. Buy. Ogre. We could just buy a Kotetsu, but we don't have enough money for it. Same thing with the Mithril Ring, and the Aqua Brand, and the Pointed Hat. Wow, look at all this stuff. Uh, we can use these gloves to raise Colette's luck so she can steal more stuff. But everything else is outside of our price range, so. Uh, what about this dude? Well, have a look around. There's got to be a good stuff on the roof. Okay, sure. Um, I wonder... If we have to be Zelos to get items from girls. Yes, we do. God damn it. Alright, uh, how about you? Purple Sat... Jesus. Is the dog female? No. Keycrest, blah 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 blah. 
Uh, you're not a female. We're looking for ladies. That's a lady. <laughs> Acquired energy tablet. Wow. This is working really well. Uh, I don't know if that's a lady. Probably not. Uh, probably not a lady as well. That's a lady? Okay. Got a life bottle. We're gonna have to do this in every city that we go to from now on. Is just, like, pop Kratos, or Kratos, pop, um, Zelos into our party, uh, like, as the head of the party, and just talk to every woman we can find. It might be a harpsichord. Uh, text of strange chemicals. You're a lady. Chosen, please be quiet. But she gave us money. She paid us to shut up. Let's see. Oh, that's a lady. <laughs> We're just... Wow, this is... This is horrible. We got a bell pepper. She... <laughs> It's so weird! Wonder what happens if you use magic too much, alright. She also paid us money. I'm reading a guidebook on rare plants and animals. Looking for materials, blah blah blah. blah. Dirty magazines. Oh, it's... Okay. I'm the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef! With just a slight difference in temperature, it transforms into an elegant dish. I shall teach you the recipe for fried rice. Learn how to make fried rice. Fried rice requires two ingredients, some type of rice and egg. Got the ingredients for fried rice. Farewell, fork man. Away! That's twice in one stream. Nice. Word person was talking about a movie from the 90s where a serial womanizer dies and reincarnates as a woman. Okay, um... I think I was alive then. What was that movie? Hmm. I know there was that one Mel Gibson movie called What Women Want, which was kind of shit. This must have been around the same time, like how movies come out in pairs. Switch, okay. Um, we'll go ahead and stay the night. And then we'll go and try and talk to the, the people over there so that Zelos can hit on them. You're a dude. I'm here to do research. Oh, Chosen, this is quite a coincidence meeting you here. We got energy tablets. Sweet. Okay, so I think that came out before What Women Want. That would have been seven or eight whenever that movie came out, so I'm not surprised that I have not seen it. Welcome! Yeah, we're still doing good on, on items for the most part. We'll buy uh, pineapple gel just in case we get in trouble. That's a dude. To the research academy. Yo, there should be word from Mel Tokyo. Ah, chosen one. We've been waiting for you. Please come this way. Upon receiving the report of Colette's symptoms, we focused our attention on research data regarding the chosen's Crucius crystal. Well now, so my crystal was useful. When Colette returns to normal, I need to make sure she thanks me generously. You... Fuck. Crucius crystals are thought to be evolved forms of X spheres. Both X spheres and Crucius crystals are lifeless beings. What did you say? Lifeless. What? Lifeless beings. 
how should I put it? Basically, x spheres are alive, though not in the same way we are. Yes. Both of these crystals are like parasites fusing with other life forms. Parasites? Hmm. It's not a very pleasant thought. When this happens, the mana within the body loses balance and goes out of control without a key crest. So that's why x spheres without key crests turn people into monsters. Exactly. In other words, since Crucius crystals possess the same qualities as x spheres we surmise that Colette is suffering from a parasitical infection by the Crucius crystal. I see. In which case, the ritual of releasing the seals may be promoting the fusion with the Crucius crystal. Fascinating. Professor, don't talk like that after all the bad things that keep happening to Colette. Colette obtained the title of Ill-Fated Girl. And if she had a key crest, she'd return to normal, right? Yes, she should be able to freely control the Crucius crystal if she had a key crest. A key crest, huh? I wonder if we can get one somewhere. Yeah, where? Like where? We got rice. Cool. Now, where are the materials for that experiment? I came to get materials to use in my experiments. Food, something, something. Uh, you're certainly out of place here. Are you escorting someone today? She gave me pork. Have you seen the summon spirit of Earth? Um, have we? No, we've got wind, fire, and water. That's right. I can't believe this mess. Maybe I'll have them assign me a different professor. Mm, are you a new student? What's your major? Study hard now. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're not allowed to go back there. The theory is that a key crest will fix her, yes. Nice hair, bro. Uh, magic is the process of slightly accelerating the action of summon spirits. Okay. Ooh. Fish! Other fish! Ugly fish. Got a miracle gel? Nice! This is a pretty creepy looking fish, huh? Yes, it is. I'm hungry. Uh, storing magic spells, okay. Pay us money to leave you alone. Studying the food chain of fish. Okay. Are any of these fish secretly the Wonder Chef? No, they are not. <laughs> she gave us beef. How is the fish are able to breathe underwater? His gills? And ne yeah, never mind said that algae and other aquatic plant forms are the origin of all life. Cool. So much shit here. Oh, and there's a basement. Please don't go into the basement. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, it's locked. I couldn't go in even if I wanted to then. talk to you, yes. And this is where we were originally. Who are you? Whenever I'm stuck in my research, I try to be alone. I guess I'll leave you alone then. These creatures that flourished long ago are surmised to have perished when they were unable to cope with rapid changes in the environment. In order to survive, living things must be able to adapt. This is true. I need to adapt to not having enough coffee in me by drinking more coffee. She gave us a holy bottle. Alright. I'm investigating spell casting cost reduction and magical effects. Alright. The basement is where they keep the Don's choices. 
Is that a Final Fantasy VII reference? Honey, how are you? Oh, she she invited us for cake, but she gave us money instead. Welcome to the cafeteria. All right. Oh, that's a lot of foods that we don't have any of yet. So many fruits. Uh, let's see, and fish. There we go, we'll just spend all of our money on food. Uh, how about you? Potato. She... <laughs> she gave us a potato. He's fine, he's potato. Oh, and now here we get to the place where they sell the other stuff. And we're out of money. Cool. Good to know if we ever need ingredients for, for cooking, that's where we can get them from. They say if you consume DHA, you'll get smarter. Um, cool. She's not interested, so she gave us a pineapple gel. See, my question is, why isn't Genus super excited to be here? Are you familiar with game theory? It's the worst pickup line I've ever heard. Oh, it's a lady. Hello, lemon gel. Another lady. Pretty flowers have thorns. Orange gel. Do you think melons are fruits or vegetables? They're fruits, dude. A light a candle or torch, does that mean the summon spirit of fire exists here? <laughs> Science is formulating theories and verifying them, yes. Gah. Seems there are plants that are prey on small animals. I'm doing research to achieve the greatest yield possible from crops, okay. Okay, this lady looks suspicious. Let's see. Love is actually the animal instinct to pass one's genes onto... Wow, okay, sorry I got in your way. I guess you've learned your lesson. Wow, Zelos finally meets somebody who wants to talk about fucking, and he gets so intimidated that he has to back off. That makes me really happy, actually. <laughs> is there... Is that... I don't see a wall there. Oh, whatever. There's a dragon. Let's get out of here. So we need an X-Sphere. Or, um... A key crest. Sorry. Where are we going to find a key crest? item that uses the power of the summon spirit of lightning to increase the potency of light magic. I'm going to call it electric light. Okay. It can be obtained at the bazaar, but those aren't anything we can use. Alright, now they mentioned key crests. We are unable to create... Chris, it may be impossible without learning it directly from the dwarves. Where are the dwarves? Who do we need to talk to to figure out where to go next? I know reference materials that are not in this library. Okay. We're 
He references the body is a vessel for consciousness. So here. What happens if we use magic too much? Looking for a diet book to guarantee absolute success, but this must not be a very thorough collection of books. Sure. The elven race is skilled with magic, they not view it as a special ability. Okay. Uh, will it build up mental fatigue or advanced physical aging? What? Guidebooks on rare plants and animals. Materials for historic blah de blah. Alright, I guess let's try to leave town and see what they say. Nothing. Um, well shit, okay. Can't go up there? Okay, that's fine. Fight this guy. This is gonna be a piece of cake! Alright! Cool, somebody leveled up. Check out the woods for cool stuff. I'm tired of this. There we go. All right. I guess we got to fight that guy. 50% output should be Alright. Getting so much meat. That we can't do. There's like fuck all else that we can do here. What the hell? I will try going this way, I guess. Ah! Not much of a specimen. That was just warming up. There we go. Imagine Perse is so strong that she is bored of the fights, and that's why she wants to go home. I hope so. The alternative is just too... Too much. Alright, what is with this dock here? Do I get a boat soon? Is that what... Oh wait, there is a cave over this way, okay. Ah! Maybe we can go this into that cave. This is gonna be a piece of cake. No Okay. Oh, I got a better Sonic Thrust. All right. Oh, Demonic Thrust, okay. Demon Fang and Sonic Thrust. Hell yeah! Oh, here we go. Alright, there's the, the village thing that we need to go to. Go ahead and save before we go in. And we're only at 40 minutes. We'll uh, take this a little bit, little bit longer. Hey, 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 this is the Forest of No Return. As long as I'm here, I'm not letting you go into any dangerous places like this. You scared? 
No, no, no. I just want to protect my cute honeys. Get fucked, dude. Uh, hey, I said you can't go in there. Alright, fine. Well, then what the fuck are we supposed to do, dude? Here we go. All right. What's this place? All you're selling is junk. It's marvelous. This is just marvelous. Oh, this is ancient magic technology carbon. There she goes again. Oh, come on, please. Look for something that looks like a key crest. There it is. There, it's a key crest. What? You want this piece of junk? Yeah, how much? Mm, let's see, 10,000 gold. Taking advantage of people in need. This is a business, after all. You're a dick face. Okay, call the one responsible for this bazaar right now. I'll make sure he can't do business anymore. Uh, who are you? You've got some guts to be ignorant of the great Zelos, the Chosen. Chosen? Please take this junk. Uh, I mean, I humbly offer this up to you, so please forgive me. Good, good. I like your attitude. I'll remember you. <laughs> Thanks, Zealous. It was nothing. It was for my cute Colette. Okay. I'll borrow a lab at the Academy and fix it. Well, at least we got to go out and make a little bit more money to buy snacks. What the fuck? Sorry to bother you, but could I borrow a lab? He wants to make a key crest. Oh, chosen one, please make use of that room you were in earlier. And this way. And this way. Let's see. Uh, we're going through all this. Is she serious? Oh, we didn't talk to her yet. Was it the next one down? Zelos is super creepy. I'll repair the key crest, so just wait at the entrance. Sure, sure. Okay, I think this'll do. You know what else will do? A couple of Doritos. didn't think I'd be giving you your birthday present like this. Oh, he made it into the necklace. I've attached the key crest to your necklace. It's late, but it's my present for you. Colette, can you hear me? How is it? It doesn't seem to work. How about asking Dirk for help? But Dirk's in Silverant. And the Rayards are out of fuel. Maybe the people here at the Academy might know of a way. Hey, hey, hey! Wait just a minute, aren't you forgetting something? I'm here to keep tabs on you. I can't let you go back to Silverant. I could fight you. Well then, just come along with us, O oh compassionate chosen one. What? Are you serious? You're kind of girls, right? Yeah, it's to save Colette. You'll keep quiet about it for us, right? Great, how am I supposed to snitch after hearing that? Okay, then all we need now is fuel. Um, what? Chosen, we heard that what you said just now. We hereby declare you and your companions to be traitors attempting to destroy Tetheala. <laughs> well, that was perfect timing, Mr. Papal Knight. It's by the Pope's orders. We are to watch you for suspicions of plotting against the throne. Eh, <laughs> now that's amusing. I'm the one who's plotting against the throne. Restrain them and take a sample. Don't touch the angel. If you approach her carelessly, she'll kill you. She'll kill you anyways. 
I have every intention of killing all of you right now. Now, what are you doing? Criminals undergo biological tests before they are arrested because of the castle system or caste system here. Some half elves don't look any different from humans. It's necessary to detect them. Sir, we found a match. Genus, Professor. So you're half elves. Half elves? Is that true? That's right. Rain. There's no point in trying to hide it now. These pathetic half elves have engaged in shameless caste deception. What did you say? The professor and Genus are much better people than you. Who cares if they're half elves? I don't know what it's like in your world, but over here, half elves are at the bottom of the caste system. Half elves guilty of crimes are all executed without exception. That's insane! Take them away. Um, we're not gonna try and fight? Guys? Guys, can we fight? Genus! Professor! Change in plans. Half elves can use magic, so we must keep them under heavy guard. We don't have any spare forces. We'll return to the bridge and call for reinforcements. As for the Chosen and the others, just lock them in the basement or something. Shit. Who's there? Don't speak to us, half-elf. Be quiet and continue your work. They are criminals. Hold them here until we return for them. Hmm. More Doritos. <laughs> there we go. I know, right? Like, why didn't I kill? There were only four of them. I could have murdered all four just so easily. Criminals, if you've had the good fortune of being born human, don't throw it away like that. Uh, we haven't done any. <coughs> Dorito Revenge! <coughs> wow, that one snuck in. Yeah. We haven't done anything! Well, you did try to go back to Silverant. Sh shut up! Ah, uh, get away. Prisea? You're Prisea! Why are you here? You know Prisea? I... she's... A half-elf in the Imperial Research Academy is acquainted with a human child. That's strange. Why? I told you half-elves are treated like garbage in this world. The half-elves that work at the Imperial Research Academy never leave their labs, ever. That's insane. Let's put that aside for now. How does a half-elf that can never leave here know Prisea? This child is my team's research sample. Research? What kind of research? Research to manufacture Crucius Crystals inside the human body. You can make Crucius Crystals? Yes. Theoretically, they are no different than x -fears. By allowing them to slowly feed on a human body. What? Uh, that's the same way the Desions made x -fears. What? What are you talking about? I'm saying, how can you treat people that way? could ask you the exact same thing. How can you humans treat half-elf lives the way you do? I treat them the same as everyone else. There's no difference between the lives of humans and half-elves. He isn't from Tetheala. What the hell? Oh, okay. Hi there. Oh, and Sheena. He's a strange one who was raised in Silveron with half-elves and a dwarf. Sheena, how did you know we... I'll explain later. Genus and Rain are being taken to Mel Tokyo. If we go after them now, we should be able to save them. Are you planning on running away? You're going to try to stop us? He's going to save his half-elf best friend. What are you going to do, Miss Half-Elf? I, I won't let you trick me. There's no way a human would save a half-elf. But Kate, I did hear they arrested two half-elves up above. Uh... There's no time. If you're going to get in our way, we'll just have to fight you. Fine. I'll let you go if you promise that once you've saved your half-elf friends, you will come back here. If what you've said is true, I'll release Prisea from her experiment. You promise? I swear upon the name of the goddess Martel. That's... Sure. Okay. Okay. 
Then come over here. There's a hidden passage. Bing. You can escape to the surface through this door. Thanks. Hurry, we need to head for the bridge. By whose order was Perseus' experiment carried out? I can't say. The Pope, then. Uh... Zelos, come on! I know, I know, sheesh. Yay, we got a Sheena! And we have a map of Tetheala, finally. Alright, let's see if there's anything fancy here that we can mess around with. Curiosity towards the unknown. Colette! She really doesn't respond to anything. Hey, you aren't doing anything funny to her, are you? What? Of course not! Because it wouldn't surprise me at all if you did something like that. What do you mean by that? When you're a pervert. You tried peeking at me in the shower before! That was just natural curiosity toward the unknown. Kill him. Oh, brother. Kill him! The angel transformation definitely doesn't look like something I want to go through. Loot the room or kick down the door. That sounds like it's referencing something, but I'm not sure what. Oh, Sheena's spell. Here we go. You will get better. You will get better. What are you doing? Nothing. I was just wishing for Colette to return to normal. I see. I hope she gets back to normal soon. Yeah, me too. We totally escaped. Alright. Now, this episode is at 53 minutes. If it'll let us, we will stop by the inn. Yes, good. We will... We don't need to rest, so we'll just save our game. Alright, and that's... Let's see, Munchkin. Those are your options if you don't fight a monster. Oh, okay. I've only ever played one Munchkin game, and I've only played, like, two rounds of it. But... It was a lot of fun. I just have a hard time finding other people that want to play tabletop games and, like, go through all the trouble of setting them up and learning the rules and... Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, this is where I've got to wrap things up because I have to repair our kitchen cabinets because one of them collapsed on Wednesday and ruined about a third of our dishes. Um, so that means I have to do a Home Depot run and all this other shit. So... Thank y'all for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and this stream. Thank you to Tabernaspication, Mindless Meat, and whoever Mitchell Nutson is. They never, they never said anything after they said hello. So, you know, hi. <laughs> um, thank y'all for being here and watching and all that good shit. Um, I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, I do hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Um. Once again, if you like the episode, then like the episode. If you like the channel, then subscribe. And whether you do or don't, I do hope you have a good one. Mindless Meat, good luck at work.